Women have been inventing and innovating for centuries, even if the world hasn't given us credit for it. Take Hypatia of Alexandria, the first recorded female mathematician who lived in ancient Egypt. She invented the hydrometer in 400 AD. The hydrometer calculates the relative density of liquids and is still used around the world today. Then there's Sarah Guppy, an English inventor who designed everything from domestic products to the infrastructure for the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol, England. Sarah gave her designs to the engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who also designed London's famous Paddington Station to take the credit, because she just wanted to see her inventions used for the public good. You may have heard of the famous British poet Lord Byron. Well, his daughter Ada Lovelace was an even bigger deal. She was amazing at maths, and she was one of the first computer programmers thanks to her work with Charles Babbage. One of the most amazing scientific developments of the last century was at the hands of a brilliant British woman, Rosalind Franklin, who discovered the DNA double helix. Her competitive colleagues, Watson and Crick, tried to take credit, but Franklin is remembered as the first person to capture a photographic image while observing molecules using X-ray diffraction. You can't say that women aren't resourceful. English inventor Mandy Haberman created the Haberman Feeder, a bottle designed for babies with trouble sucking, and is now used in hospitals around the world. These women are truly inspiring, and we need more female inventors. So if you have an idea, be like these women and bring it to life.